Konnichiwa and welcome to Building the Bathroom Part 5. On the last episode of Building the Bathroom, we were busy with concrete. Very, very busy. 104 cinder blocks and God only knows how many cubic meters of concrete. This episode is all about tiles. We have spent a considerable amount of time trying to choose the tiles for this room. We have gone backwards and forwards and around and around in circles on this choice. This is a picture of our final choices. We've narrowed it down from about 15 to four. The easiest decision was the floor tile. As soon as we saw this, we loved it. Oh, what's that one? This is beautiful. In choosing our wall tiles, we searched Pinterest for styles that we liked and then ordered samples of tiles that looked similar. This is option one and we really like it with the grey grouting. Option two is very much in keeping with what you would find in a sento or onsen here in Japan. Used in a modern bathroom, this is the kind of look that we would expect to end up with. Option three and four are much larger tiles, less in keeping with what you might see in a traditional sento, but they would still give a very nice finish to the bathroom. In the end, we thought that the small square tile had the danger of potentially looking a little bit like a prison cell. So we eliminated that one. We did like the idea of a small tile though, so we've gone for the small rectangles. I think the combination with the marble for the floor is really, really nice. The first thing that we ordered was the marble for the floor. Four boxes cost us 23,000 yen, about 200 US dollars. This is actually bad. Yeah, maybe we should make a pile, good ones and bad ones. Disappointingly, not all of the tiles were of the same quality as the sample. Even though we ordered the sample twice to see if there was any possibility of variation. Yeah, those two are really nice. This is this. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Put that one here. This one's so good. Yeah, this one's nice. This one's very light. Very nice. I don't like this. It's a big hole. Yeah, in the back. Out. This one's quite yellow. This one's quite purple. Um, that can go in here. This is similar to this because it's got a big um, purple spot on. So maybe this, that can go here. Similar. That one's pretty good. That one can go there. Still okay. So many we need. One, two, three, four. So this one cut here. Yeah. So if you like this, yeah. you can cut for the dumpling. Oh yeah. That's good. Cut out the bad piece. I, I think it's quite difficult to cut like this. <laughs> Hi. Hi. With such huge variations in colour, texture and pattern, we started moving the tiles around on the floor to try and find the best layout. Once we'd found it, we cut the tiles which would be next to the drain and around the side, down to size. It was actually easier than we had imagined. We're using a quick drying mortar, which can be used both indoors and outdoors for stone floors. We've bought all of our tiles, bonds and grouts from the same online shop, which is called tilelife.co.jp.
way, right? Yeah, that way. Once the tiles were firmly stuck, we started preparation for grouting. We're putting tape on the tiles so that the grout doesn't leave stain marks. In hindsight, I think we could have just sealed the tiles before doing the grouting. And that way it would have just wiped off easily. We've decided to use a grey grout on the floor and on the walls, like what we saw on some of the Pinterest pictures. As you can see, trying to avoid getting the grout on the tiles made it quite a fiddly job. We pulled off all of the tape and then had a mojito at the bottom of the garden behind the cow shed. We get the most amazing sunset views here and sitting next to the lotus pond is just beautiful. The next task was to order the wall tiles but I couldn't go through with it. To cover our wet room it was going to cost 147,000 yen, about 1,300 US dollars. The thought just made me feel sick. I searched the website again and found something that looked very similar, but they didn't do samples. At 84,000 yen or 740 US dollars, it was considerably cheaper. So I decided to risk it for a biscuit and put the order through. When they arrived, I was really happy. The more expensive tile is the one on the left and the cheaper one at nearly half the price is on the right. As you can see, they are very similar the main difference is that the more expensive one has got a slightly speckled glaze. To be honest, I think I prefer the cheaper one anyway. We tiled the baths around using a laser to make sure everything was straight. I've got no idea where the video footage of us doing this has gone, but don't worry. I've got loads of tiling footage from the rest of the bathroom. These tiles are really nice. Yeah, I'm very happy with them. They look like little white Kit Kats. Because some of the marble was unusable, just really bad quality, we didn't have enough to tile around the bath, so we've had to order an extra box. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, please be good, please be good. <laughs> How is it? Is it shit? Or a good one? Hmm. Different. Different. Okay. Yes. But it's very, it's nice, but it's very different. Yeah, it's uh, almost a moon. Yeah. Nice. How's that one? Ah, oh, it's completely different colour. Nice. To the rest of the bathroom. Nice uh, yeah, it's really nice, but it yeah, doesn't I match. It. I like it. Much. Don't worry about it. What 
What's that one? Nice. Nice or shit? Nice. Oh. Nice here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but they've got different to the rest of the bathroom. Oh. I beautiful, though. I like it. The color is different, but. Oh, nice. I'm really. I'm, I'm happy uh, more than I expect. Really? Yeah, because I didn't expect it any, anything. But those are good, great pattern, and then no really hole though. They have, they have a texture, but still better than the other. Yeah, I'm disappointed though because it's completely different to the floor. I mean, at least these ones match with each other, so it's going to look like we've got one type of tile on the floor and one type around the bath. Different. I think it looks the same, because same stone. Same stone. It's not really different. It's a bit sunny. Oh, I'm disappointed. It's gonna be good. No. Oh. It's gonna be good. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, I'm just really disappointed. It looks really nice. Just different colours to the floor. Mm. I mean, to be honest, I prefer the smooth ones on the floor a lot more. Smooth ones? Yeah. One? The ones on the floor, but we don't have it. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to like this. <laughs> Can you cut this one? Say about this. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. I'm gonna make a magic here. I'm gonna put more stone here. Okay. Itchy set the stones at a slight slope so that the water would drain off. Once they were set, I started with the grouting. We're using this 511 Porous Plus Sealer, which is suitable for marble and other natural stones. This is what we should have done before we did the grouting.
We've used it on the bath surround and on the floor tiles. And here's the final look. I absolutely love the colour of the marble on the bath surround now. In fact, I like it more than the floor. What do you guys think about the colour variation between the top and bottom? Would you be as disappointed as I am? In the next episode of building the never ending bathroom, we'll be installing the bathtub and starting work on the walls. One day we will finish this never ending bathroom build and until then please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already.